In this video, I'm going to show you how to replace the leaf spring shackles on this Ford F-250. These are the ones that connect the back of the leaf spring onto the frame, so let's get started. So here's the leaf spring shackle. Of course, the procedure applies to both sides, no matter which one you have to do. I always recommend doing both at once. And we're going to have to start with the lower bolt. This is a 21 millimeter in size, and the back side is actually a mounting nut that has a tab on it being held onto the, the frame here. So in most cases, you're actually gonna have to heat that mounting nut up. I will, if you don't, because your truck isn't as rusty, that's great. So a little bit of heat and a 21 millimeter socket is what I'm gonna start with. I heated it up, 21 millimeter socket. And there's that mounting nut bolt is free spinning in that bushing, which is amazing because a lot of times they seize in here, you'll have to cut them. So at this point, I'm gonna take a pry bar, pry this thing out of here. However, don't go all the way out because we do have to support the leaf spring with the rear axle on this side so that it doesn't actually put this bolt under a lot of pressure. I'm on the lift, so I'm using a pole jack. If you're on the ground, you're gonna to need to have a floor jack or whatever you have that'll support the rear end. Just gonna lift it up a little bit to relieve pressure off that bolt. Now let's go try to take that bolt out. As you take it out, you might need to adjust this higher or lower to make it slide out easier. I'm gonna take a pry bar, just push on the end of the bolt. I'm gonna stick a pry bar in here, try to separate the shackle from the bracket. Raise up on your support, and this should pull the shackle out of the bracket. If it's stuck, try to give it a couple taps with a hammer. There we go, that's better. So now, with this free, we'll be able to remove the top bolt, which you could have done before, but you can't slide it out because it has to clear the frame here. So that's why we have to raise this up. And actually, I have to raise it up just a little bit more. So I'm gonna lift up on my support here. There we go, that's a lot better. If you can't clear the frame with it, you can't remove the bolt, and then you can't remove the shackle. 24 millimeter socket on the nut side, and I'm gonna hold the bolt head with a 21 wrench. Loosen this up. Not too bad, all right. The bolt spins freely, actually, so that's great. Same thing, tap this out. It's hitting the frame, so we're gonna have to lift up some more. You can either do that with your support, which I will a little bit, but then you can also use a pry bar and push this up a little more. Pry up wherever you can, just be careful about it. You don't wanna get your hand caught or pinched or anything. Take that bolt out, take the shackle out, and there it is. I'm gonna put some anti-seize inside the leaf spring bushing here, which you can replace if you want to. This one's in perfect condition though, so I'm going to reuse it, of course, and the anti-seize will prevent that bolt from seizing up in the future, which as you can see, this one was easy to remove and I'd like to keep it that way. Now, the shackle is gonna be a snug fit, so you're gonna have to kind of squish it over a little bit. Maybe tap it with a rubber mallet if needed. Just try to line up that bolt hole so we can get the bolt through. Both of the bolts are the same, so it doesn't matter which one you put on top and which one on the bottom. And if you have to replace them, definitely do. If they're rusty or weak or stripped out in any way, replace them with brand new bolts of equal hardness. These have to carry a lot of load. There we go. Pry in whichever direction you need to get things lined up. And then once the bolt is almost through just like this, 
I'm going to have to push on this shackle up to line up the outer part of it. And there we go. You can just barely sneak a little hammer in there, get this to line up. Now, I won't be tightening this one yet. I want to put the bottom one in and then do it, but uh, I will put the mounting nut on just so it can stay somewhat secure on here. And then we'll drop it down. Both of these bushings should be torqued at right height, just so you know. So we'll be tightening them after everything is installed. While this is still raised up, I'm gonna put some anti-seize inside this lower mounting hole here for the same reason. I wanna keep that bolt nice and lubricated in there. And then we can lower our support. That should seat the shackle into its bracket. Now, if it gets stuck like this, don't be alarmed. Grab a pry bar after you have a little bit of pressure on it and just try to, there we go, maneuver it into place. Lower it some more. And don't go all the way down. You just want to make sure that it's lined up right about there. And now we can install our lower bolt. Don't go in all the way with it because you'll have to put the mounting nut on the back side, which has this bracket that holds it on. Start that on. We can tighten it all up. Let's snug this all up now. Once it's in position, you don't want to put these bushings in a bind by having the leaf spring all the way down or all the way up. So just kind of try to match ride height. That's tight. Let's switch sockets to a 21 millimeter so we can tighten up the bottom. And just like for removing, we don't have to hold the mounting nut side. We only hold the bolt side or spin the bolt side that is. And now let's torque them down. 166 foot pounds is the torque for both of these. Still at right height. I'm gonna tighten these down. That's one. I'm gonna feel for the bolt so it doesn't spin. And it's spinning, so I do have to hold it with a wrench. All right, that's 166 right there. Remove whatever support you were using. And there we go. When only the best will do, demand TRQ. The only company that lets you view before you do. TRQ is committed to offering the highest quality aftermarket auto parts that are engineered for peace of mind. Thanks for using and viewing with TRQ.